Hey everyone, my name's Silver, and today's ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I am joined by... Card Otaku... No, I'm kidding. Black <laughs> Dragon. Oh my god, it's Card Fight Protégé! Oh wait, no, I'm not cool enough to be seen with him yet. Darn. <laughs> Fun fact, I've actually met him once uh, at my uh, regionals. Really? Um, yeah, yeah, so my first year I went to regionals, I was using a Gear Chronicle deck... My friend was using a, if I remember correctly, an Aqua Force, and my other teammate was using um, uh, New Nectar back when G first started, so there was a lot of decks that weren't, you know, top tier. Yeah. Uh, with Stride, even Gear Chronicle was bad. There was a time Gear Chronicle was bad, guys! I am shocked. I know, right? There was a time that it lost to decks like Garmore and Aqua Force and anything else. But yeah. in all reality, I've actually met him, and he's an okay guy. He's pretty cool. I'm not going to link his channel because I'm not subscribed to him. But I will link Black Moon's channel down in the description below. Also, come join our Discord because we have a Discord now. You can get card fight news. You can post things. You can fight us there, You know, request battles, battle each other. There's lots of game rooms. And come on and have fun with us because please, please. Sure is. If, uh, when I'm off work, you know, and I have that time for a quick stream, then sure, that'll be awesome. Yep, um, looking to make future videos there, but today, guys, that's not what we're here for. Um, all the shameless linking is now done, I believe, maybe. <laughs> is it done yet? Are yeah, done? That, that, that's all of them. Hey, VI guy, you know, yeah, representative, are we done? No? Uh, okay, um, I've just been just... We also have fired. to, like, throw that Geico commercial in there somewhere. Oh yeah, Geico! I'm not sponsored, I just felt like saying Geico because it's a fun word. Yeah. Um, but I've been informed we've been fired, so I'll see you later, Black Moon. Okay, well, awesome. <laughs> so anyway, uh, monthly Bushy Road 7, September 17 issue. Uh, looks like we've got some new teases for yes. E-Booster Set 11. Yes, and a lot of them you're actually pretty much excited for, like the new uh, Oracle Think Tank stuff. Yes. So I'll let you cover that first. I'm going to pull it up. I'm going to pull the image up on my screen. Okay. Um, okay, so the one that I'm excited for is Goddess of Concentration. Oh, uh, yeah. Tagari Hime. Um, it's a grade three. It's a uh, counterblast one. When this unit is placed on the Vanguard Circle, if there are five or less cards in your hand, you may pay the cost. If you paid the cost, you may draw a card. Um, also, uh, GB2, Oracle, Counterblast 1, when your turn ends, so I believe that means that even if you stride, that you can activate this, because during your end phase, your stride goes back to your extra deck, and it's face up, so I believe you can activate this even on turns that you stride, is that correct? Yes, because it's the same, like, Asha skill, Searing Heart Asha, at end of turn, call a unit from hand. So, yeah. yes, you can still do this at end of turn. Okay. Because of how end of turn works is the order you choose. Because you can still have to bounce stuff to deck and destride, or you can bounce stuff to deck and then... Because, you know, if you have a card that's nice, every time a card's put to deck, draw a card. You can choose not to destride, send the stuff to deck, and then destride. The order happens in which you want it to. Yeah. So, if you choose to do that, um, you can look at the top four cards of your deck and reveal up to one card with the Oracle ability, add it to your hand, and shuffle your deck. So, I think it's pretty cool. I like the artwork. And I know I'm probably going to get some hate for this, but I'll probably run it as my main for my oracle deck um why what why in my right mind would i choose to do that easy i'm just not a big susano fan that's all susano's bad get on get get amaterasu back or you know goddess of the full moon sukuyomi well sukuyomi is getting some support in this set anyway so i'm hoping it's it's just this we have two cards confirmed for sukuyomi it's just and, that's all. That's all well, you get. Both good. They're both really good support, though. See, last time when we got support G units, we just got the G units. What we really need now is a reprint of all the main rides. 
Yeah. The, Fingers the grade crossed two was ridiculous. On my end. Like, the grade 2 for Sukiyomi is just expensive. It says, haha, $15 for one grade 2. Good luck. If you don't have it, you're bad. So, anyway, the other units that you were going to cover? Um, so, I mean, if you just scroll through, which um, I would normally say link at the bottom, but you can find all the information here. I'm circling the little card fight uh, area information. But um, we do have a new... We have a vanilla draw trigger that's coming back. Uh, Battle actually, Sister. Actually, it's a Margul clone, Battle Sister. Yep, it's now a Margul clone. It's uh, on sale August 8th, 2017. Several new units have been revealed, and an unexpected old vanilla makes his dramatic return. I'm assuming that's somewhere in this... I don't know. I think they're oh. referring to Kanzaki. Because in episode 45, he's going to have another training episode. But yes, yeah, so we're getting a Margo clone battle sister. We're getting a, another Stealth Beats unit with After Image. Um, and its skill is Rest this unit. Choose one of your units during your turn. It gains 2k. Choose one of your opponent's rear guards. Bind it face up. Then when that turn ends, your opponent adds the card bound by this effect to their hand, which I don't know why they're stepping back on Nubatama. Because Nubatama had a really nice self bound and domination mixture going on, and now they're just like, so, here, have this. Bind your opponent's stuff from rear guard. Yeah, I kind of prefer binding from their hand anyway. Yeah, so. I agree. Because the only, there's only a handful of decks binding the rear guards really help. Like, and even then, you're refueling their on-call skills like Bloom and Go Gold Paladin. It's just yeah, well, bad. and in in for this skill, yes, but for skills like with Narukami, where the bind is permanent, it's good. But for this, I'm not this particular card here. I'm not too sure about. I'm not. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a fan. Boo! Boo! Be ashamed. Let's just get rid of commons and only have SP rares and higher in booster oh. boxes. Oh gosh, I don't know if that would make everything expensive or everything cheap or something. It would make everything cheap because the lowest rarity we could have is an SP. So yeah. if you have all SPs, then and SPs no just value. become there's no value left. I think the only value would just be usefulness. But before we get too sidetracked, we uh, get we have a new weather girl entering hey. the fray. Um, I can't say that name, and it doesn't even look like it's a complete name. Weather Girl Rashi. Well, I think the reason is because the um, there's a big glare. So oh yeah. Over her, so maybe that's why. But her new skill is. I'll let you take it away, buddy, because you love Oracle so much. Okay, awesome. Um, Rearguard Oracle. When this unit boosts a unit with the Oracle ability, look at the top card of your deck and place it on the top or bottom of your deck. If it's placed on the bottom during that battle, this unit gains 2k. Um, also, for one turn early, GB1. I'm sorry, once per turn, GB1. When you drive check a grade blank card, counter charge. You know, I think its skill might be on the wiki, actually. Already. I mean, it might be. But, I mean, it's really hard to even tell what the skill is right now, because it's, again... There, it's glared over. And this is all translated, by the way. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure the wiki, though, has the uh, translated skill. Like I the mean, full thing. Probably. Um, and then we have some new, what looks to be new Nectar stuff. A new stand trigger and another grade 3. I can't tell what that grade 3 is, though. It's a female. It's probably Maiden of. I think they already confirmed. I think that's the new Maiden of Strider. I think uh, I talked about that one on my channel already, actually. I can't tell. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, but might as well go to the wiki, right? Um, nope, we want to go to recent bookmarks. And go While you're doing that, I'll, I'll cover uh, the stand trigger. Rubinus Knight, um, stand trigger, bloom, auto, rear guard. Generation break one, when a unit with the same name... As this unit is placed on the rear guard or guardian circle, during that turn, this unit gains auto rear guard. During the end of each turn, you can return this unit to hand. Wow. That's actually really 
really good with Asha. Um, no, it is actually not the new Strider, it looks like. Oh, no, oh, wait, that's not... the Bloom. That's a common... That should be foil, but, um... I'm not seeing it, because I'm under New Nectar... Let's see, let's see if it's under Single Rares. New Nectar, Maiden... Is this it? Oh, nope, you're right. It is the new Strider. It's the new Single Rare Strider of Maiden awesome. Nub. So, if you're curious about that, um... Its skill is when a G-Unit strides on Maiden Nub in its original card name... Choose two units and they gain 2k. And when this unit attacks, the Vanguard hits. Search your deck for a minute of of it. Call it to rear and shuffle deck. So you're essentially getting more out of it. But the stand trigger was what was important. May I just make a quick comment on the Maiden of Strider? Yeah, go right ahead. I just find it so odd that they give they finally give Maiden of a Strider so that you can run something other than Legion if you want. Not that the Legion is bad, it's actually pretty good from what I've heard. And yet, the starter that comes with the set for Maiden of is still Legion exclusive. True. So, uh, yeah, I, I find that so odd that they make, that they finally give us a Strider for Maiden of, but then make the starter Legion support. Yeah, um,. Common wise, though, I don't think um, my Sukiyomi is gonna get much support. It's gonna be either in the single rare, double rare, or nothing at all. Yeah. I'm sad. Sad face. In other news, uh, looks like Claret Sword is finally making a comeback. Supremacy Dragon Cleric Sword Revolt, included in the Dragon King's Awakening. Yeah, doesn't really, like, give much on the skill, though. And also, there's going to be what I'm guessing is a new stride called, keyword here, True Supremacy Dragon Claret Sword Helheim. Given oh, that no, it's a true! What are we going to do? What are we going to do? It's like a Liberator! Revenger! Ah! Sorry, we get out. Go on. Okay. <laughs> and if if you don't mind me, it says something here... Relics is mentioned in his profile as Den of Thieves or Evil Group that can manipulate emotions and thought. Ah, I see what's going to happen now. True Supremacy Dragon Cleric Sword Helheim is going to be like the Domination Unit. It's going to take over his body and want to end Vanguard. Given that it's a Kanzaki training video, um... I, a part of me is wondering if he's going to return to help Chrono or something. You know, well, him. I mean, these are very evil names. Revolt? What's he revolting against? Well, the 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 episode's title is Turn 45 Special Training with Kanzaki. Summary is, Team Striders head to the mountains to train with Kanzaki, the strongest Shadow Paladin user. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, tell that sure. to Ren. Sure. Kanzaki and Kazuma fight. Oh, that's going to be interesting. A mirror match there. <sighs> you know what I just realized? What? I'm reading right underneath all the turns, you know, after turn 45, so it's, it's 47, 48. And it's also, also next month's promo is a Gear Chronicle promo card. Dang, we were so close. Darn you, Bushiro! How could you? Well, you know, maybe that's just for the, um, well, bear in mind that, uh, never mind. I don't know where I was going. Well, I want to say that. We're all happy the... about Chrono Dragon Gear next, right? We can't wait to see that. Yeah, yeah, sure. I, I'm thrilled to death to see more gear support. And such a creative name, too. It just rolls right off the tongue. Yeah. Not like a garbage name, like next year or something you know or you know chrono tiger gear glare that because that rolls off the tongue easily as well yeah just gear chronicle i love it so much also they have another thing here called wicked deity prelate gastial art and product unknown and i'm gonna search that on the wiki while you talk about that and here's all that it says um 
It appears that the new Claret Sword is tied to the relics that we mentioned earlier, or the other dimension related to the emissaries who taught Shiranui domination, and Claret Sword is tied to a hell dimension that he's involved in uh, from what uh, Card Fight Coalition gathered. And then the last bit of news that we have is that Episode 45 is just going to be uh, training with Kanzaki. 46 is going to be Tokoha and Verno fighting. And Verno is going to learn of uh, Kazumi's skill, um, uh, his plans, I'm sorry. I don't know. I just got off of work, guys. I'm tired. Um, 47 oh. is going to be Tayo versus Verno. So let's put it now. Tokoha loses to Verno. I will hold out faith. <laughs> I will hold out faith Get, that the maiden... She, off... Let's be honest. She's going to lose after her fight with Chrono. Going to get kicked out. There there will be no more reasons to make her the punching bag of former Tri-3. Unless Bushiro decides they really hate her. But anyway, last episode that they've announced, 48 is going to be Saori versus kazuma and it's called dragon of awakening so i think that's when we'll finally get to see the new um dragon king luard i just had a shiver because i was reading the description of uh the new one sorry and kazuma face off and kazuma awakens luard's true power as a dragon yeah uh, definitely has nothing to do with dragonborn that was just released today nothing at all yeah doesn't line up perfectly at all <laughs> well i think that's all the news uh left to cover here uh, i believe it is you covered more news than me just sort of being me <laughs> i'm all over the all over the place freaking out um yeah but i'm really excited for the cleric sword support like i i honestly as as bad as i feel for saying it i want him to go evil again just because his horse breaks logic. If you don't want to, if you don't know what I mean, I'm gonna edit it in. Air silver of the future. Edit the horse breaking logic at the end of the first season. <laughs> Let's take a moment to pause. So I wasn't worthy of receiving the miracle of that card. Then I'll just have to polish up my skills. Then next time, the miracle will be mine for the taking. Oh, my! Thank you, Silver of the Future. Because his horse breaks logic, I am still firmly believe that he is a unit from Cray. Or his horse is at the very least. <laughs> and I know it's too late, but spoiler, if you haven't seen season one, if you haven't, what are you doing? Probably being good at the game, actually. Yeah, or, or not ruining Vanguard for you. I'm, I'm sorry, but G Season 1 was probably the worst season ever for me. Did he even lose a fight at all in that season, but, like, twice? I don't know. Like, I think he lost a single battle in that entire season, and that was to, um, what's his name? We just talked about him in your video. Koji Ibuki? Yeah, Ibuki. He, like, lost to Ibuki when he was quitting Vanguard, and then that's it. By the way, more spoilers. That's okay. The season we're referencing isn't worth watching anyway. No, he literally lost one time I can recall. Every other time, he won. While Tokoha and Shion did all the losing. I must drive better to win. Yeah. Anyway, I, I think we're kind of uh, droning on here, uh... Yep, so, yeah, we're going to let you go, but again, check out Black Moon. Link is always in the description below. Check out the Discord, me on Twitter, him on Twitter. Um, look at our live streams. We are currently in a four-part series where we battle out with all the clans. Hopefully, we'll be able to release part three soon when our days line up better. And for more Vanguard ranting news, check me out again. And if that sub box is red, that means you're not subscribed. You're missing out on my content, which I can't tell if that's a good thing or a bad thing. It's a bad thing. It's a bad thing. Okay. We'll see you all later. Until next time, guys. I've been the Silver Wolf, joined with... 
card fight protagonist. Exactly. See you all <laughs> later. Peace.